What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My RC Life, where we do all things RC and a little bit of everything in between. Let's go! What's up, everybody? Trex is Mike from My RC Life. I haven't been doing many ground videos lately, so I figure it's time. I'm going to bust out the XRT. It's a beautiful day. Um... Casey's with his mother, and I don't know. I just want to send this thing through the air and and rip on it because this this thing I've hardly even drove this dang thing, and uh, I know it's an awesome car. And I think I'm gonna go put her through its paces today. We got the jumps out, and I've really been thinking about jumping over the house too. I mean that roof right there is just perfect pitch, just asking to be jumped. From the backyard because the backyard you can walk right up on the roof so walk up on the roof put the ramps at the top of the peak over the garage you get what i'm saying let's go get this baby going bone stock except for I did do this uh, flexible wing mount because they say these break easily I'll probably still end up breaking the wing mount anyways um, I did soak this down in WD-40 and then hit it with a bunch of heat so it makes the plastics a bit more flexible but other than that flexible plastic treatment and that uh, GLRC rubberized wing mount. She's stock. I got don't have stock batteries. I hate junk Traxxas batteries. Traxxas batteries suck. If you're still using Traxxas batteries, up your game, people. I got a set of SMC uh, Extreme Graphene uh, 9700 MAH four cells. Get a little heat in the lipos. It's already about 70 degrees out, so they're probably already. Yeah, they're nice and warm. Oh, a few stone chips in the truck. Good thing most of my RC cars cost more than my daily driver does. Well, guys, I don't know if this was cracked before or we just cracked it, but I got a broken wheel. Yeah, we got a broken wheel. Huh, that's odd. All right, we need to go home and change the tires. All right, well, I came back home really quick, and I had these brand new uh, set of X-Max tires. They've never even been... Um, ran as you can see i mean they're brand new they've been sitting on the floor in my room and they got a little dust on them but uh that's it i mean they're brand new you can tell um i did put the spot of glue over the vent holes in case i run them in water because that's the downfall to these tires these sidewalls are really thin you get a little bit of dirt or water in your vent hole 
it gets the tires off balance, it eats your foams up, gets your foams wet, whatever. Then you rip one of these tires. I never ever run these on my X Max. I take them right off right away. Um, I have different lug nuts on both of my X Maxes that allows me to run some different tires. I got I have like eight different sets of tires for my X Max. Well, since I don't have a set of those lug nuts for the XRT yet, I have to go with a stock uh tire or at least a tire that will accept the stock lug nut i had a pair of the uh pro line badland mx's and they're just kind of heavy and i was going to put them on this and i was like ah oh, no i just don't want to put them on this they do have their regular small hole about the size of my pinky that will accept the stock traxxas lug nut but they're just, they're just too heavy. That beadlock wheel, and it's thicker. So I'm going to try to run these stock X-Max tires and see what we come up with. So let's get these onto this truck right now. Bam! She's ready to go, guys. <laughs> they're just a little bit taller. Not much, though. And here's what happened. It cracked right there. See that? Cracked way up in there. Crack it cracked all of the outside of the wheel here. Look at that. And before anyone asks, no, when I soaked that car down in WD-40, I didn't soak the rims down. If you look at the video about 10, 15 videos ago when I got this and I put up a demo video on how to bash proof your Traxxas XRT. I think that's the title of the video. You will see the tires are off for the car when I uh, spray it in WD-40 and hit it with the heat gun to open up the plastic pores to let that uh, WD-40 or penetrating oil seep in. So no, that ain't the reason why the tires crack. So, all right, let's get back to the hill and continue bashing. <laughs> Now before, this thing wouldn't really do a backflip because the tires wouldn't balloon enough. I bet it'll backflip now. Thank <laughs> you. 
on that. That was weak XRT. Well guys, here's my backyard. And I really want to send it. Are you watching, Cody? lens protector that's okay one broken lens protector that's okay though Battery came unplugged. Oh, no. it did yeah, it did. I gotta land it. Attempt number two. Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah, want me to do it again? Here we go! The neighbors want to see me do it again. Peer pressure. exactly what I wanted to do. I got it over the house and landed it a couple of times. Yeah, and the XRT is fine as can be. Uh, only thing I did have happen is the batteries come unplugged a couple times. But she's a-okay. Thank you for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.